Welcome to another episode of It's All Daniel From Here. damned excited to show you what's on offer here today Shek O Village that's right it's it's there behind me oh my god down the bottom there and I am just gobsmacked by this sleepy beautiful coastal town village and what's on offer here let's go take a look before we do anything though let's talk about how the hell to get there <laughs> you want to be catching the dark blue line or the island line to Shao K1 station and getting off there. All right, coming out of exit A1, we're looking for bus number nine. Bus bay is just there, very convenient. Ah, here we go. The public transport system in Hong Kong is very well labelled and easy to navigate. <laughs> okay, so kind of missed my stop and arrived in the Sheko village, which is fine because now I'm going to explore this before doing Dragon's Back. <sighs> Turning lemons into lemonade. <laughs> yeah, you heard that correctly. <laughs> Truth be told, I didn't know what the hell Sheko Village was. I just wanted to find the start of the Dragon's Back hike. But, now that I was here, why the hell wouldn't I go check it out? Loads of gorgeous little temples littered throughout Sheko Village as well. I was in Sheko village in the colder months, so it was insanely quiet. But I can only imagine in the summer months, it's probably a fair bit busier. Streets are so quiet and peaceful here. Nearly at the other end of Sheko village. It's just gorgeous, tranquil, small little town. Wow, this is unreal. soft it's beautiful <sighs> I was pretty blown away by this beach I didn't know this place existed till I caught the bus and didn't get off at the right stop so what a victory and as you can see it's damned impressive all right Put my shorts on. I'm not gonna have a full dip because I don't have a towel and a full change of clothes. Still gotta walk dragons back, but I am gonna dip my toes in the water. It just looks too good. The temperature is perfection. Ah, <laughs> oh, Hong Kong, why are you so lovable? Mm -hmm. 
I went exploring, but there's not a doubt in my mind you could just spend the day wandering on this beach, sunbaking, or frolicking in the water. Maybe even multiple days. So peaceful, so gorgeous. I see some people around these rocks fishing off the coast, so I'm gonna have a look. To be honest, the sand is so soft and these rocks are not even sharp. So it's, uh, it's not something that I'm in a lot of pain for. So you could do this too. It's very manageable getting up here. The views are spectacular. So I'm walking down the south end of the Sheko Beach and uh, there's a trail over here and uh, Sea God Trine. So I'm just going to have a quick look, see what's over here. These shrines are a beautiful part of Hong Kong culture and they're usually well looked after and very spiritual. They're all worth having a look at and getting a feel for how they live their lives, who they worship. So from what I've been told, a lot of fishermen and people exploring out at sea, basically they pray to the sea gods for a safe return from the ocean. The ocean can be menacing. So that's uh, quite a popular guy to pray to, as I understand it. Gorgeous spot too. So there it is, the Sea God Shrine. The temples, these shrines. You can't actually like say it in words, but there's a peace and tranquility to being in these these environments, you know, and it's just something in the air. And you just gotta be here. Right of the shrine here is a path. The curiosity is potentially going to kill the cat because I'm gonna go check it out, see where it leads. Behold, the Sheko Garden. <laughs> a cute little detour just off the beaten track with, with a beautiful clearing, a gorgeous old tree that looks very old, and gardens with a creek running through it. Why do I feel like this is gonna be some kind of hidden amazing gem? or the place where I get killed. <laughs> oh, this water looks absolutely beautiful. I bet it's fresh though. It looked it, but surprisingly, it wasn't that cold. Well, that's it. Uh, there's a little bit of a walk up the path. You know, I was hoping you could come up here, but you can see from the sign, private area. So that's a no-go, but oh, Sheko Garden, gorgeous little small area to chill in. Just brimming in serenity. <laughs> so 
store on the south side here. And potentially another mysterious path. Oh damn hill, you clever bastard. What have you found now? Let's see. The path just kept on going and I kept walking up it waiting to see what was in store for me. <laughs> this one gets steep fast. There's even rails. So, uh, <laughs> heads up on that one. This one's uh, less leisurely. But steep means there's a high chance there's some epic views up here. Oh wow. Uh, out of respect I can't show, but there's actually some urns up here. So, uh, people's loved ones, they've cremated and put here on the mountainside. Gorgeous resting spot. I know, barefoot. <laughs> what was I thinking? I was going to turn back, but I'm, I'm just too curious. I'm going to push on a little bit further. Also worth noting, I am in bare feet and I have not trampled on any thing sharp. No needles, no rocks. So friendly on the feet. Wow. Holy hell, this test, yeah? Lucky I'm barefoot because you'd need shoes with grip here. I'm literally scaling a couple of steps. <laughs> Just as I thought, get a load of this. Honestly, what started as a blunder, missing my stop to do the dragon's back walk, ended up being somewhere you could literally spend the whole day just enjoying the serene surroundings in Sheko Village. Gorgeous. I think there's a legit trail that I went way off. That's my bad. No wonder it was so shady. I think I'm right near the top now. <laughs> uh, they headed back down, so must be up the top. It gave me a pretty, pretty weird look being in barefoot. I'm inclined to agree. It wasn't a smart move on my part. <laughs> So I just checked on Google Maps and there is a marker here marked Ridge Bobin. So I think that's where I am. And to the victors get the spoils. Just wow. It was a tough climb, but I have no regrets. Have a look at that. 
gorgeous view. And I've got to say, it was Foot's best friend because I did it all in barefoot. Blown away by that little sneaky trailer at the side of that shop. <laughs> this is what it can turn into. This. I know. Absolutely felt like the king of Sheko village at this point. And hey, maybe I was. All right, I'll see you at the bottom. Far out. Okay, I have to climb down this. There it is, the actual path. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Blown away at this hidden gem. Blown away. And I'm back, alive and in one piece. <laughs> ah. How could you not fall in love with this place? Now it was time to explore the other side of Sheko Village. It was so nice to hear the birds chirping as I walked through the town. There are two public toilets here in Sheka village. That's a pretty small place. So uh, here's one behind me here, just on the near the North Beach. <sighs> Look, it's it's really generous with its public toilets here in Hong Kong. If you need to go, chances are there's one close. Here it is, the North Beach. This is the north part of Sheka Village. Another quiet, gorgeous, tranquil beach. That makes two beaches in Sheko Village well worth your time. And here on the northeast side, I've found the beach again. <laughs> Even this short walk to the Blue Bridge just shows the most gorgeous coastal views. The Blue Bridge is also known as the Lover's Bridge because of the light blue colour that exudes romance. And when you have your romantic partner walking next to you, there's only enough room for two people to walk next to each other. So over the Sheko Lovers Bridge, there's more walking trails span to the very corner of the island. <sighs> I'm very tempted, but still want to check out the rest of the village. It's really keen to get.
get some Thai food here, but there's no time. <laughs> Buses do leave from Sheko village regularly. Best mistake ever. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. Sheko village really is a stunner of a place to visit and I found it by accident. Start with the beautiful Sheko beach, which is actually a local favorite. And the main strip is perfect for relaxing and taking a quick dip. And also checking out the rocks to give it another vantage point. The North Beach in Sheko Village is also nice and may even be quieter. So worth having a look if you want to have a swim. The sand on both beaches is soft and gorgeous on the feet. Near the main beach is a small temple, which is great to have a little walk through where you can pray to the sea god, part of their culture. Let's not forget the incredible hike up that hill that I found behind that random store, which turned out to be an absolutely incredible experience. Pretty tough on the calves, but once you get to the top, those views are second to none. And the best way to see Sheko Village in its entirety. And last but not least is the Blue Bridge or Lover's Bridge. Well worth looking at. It's got gorgeous views of the surrounding ocean and a beautiful walk up to the far end of the island, which I didn't have time to do. If you are enjoying these episodes, hit that subscribe button and like, because there are plenty more episodes exploring Hong Kong in front of you.